Oh man. I did not just wake up. However, it's probably how I look. And you know what? I own it. I own it. This is my day off. And because it's my day off, and I want to open a spooky box. Uh, I'm not dressing up for nobody. I'm just comfy in my Ninja Turtle shirt. It's gonna be hot outside today. It's gonna be like, I don't know, 102. I know it could be hotter somewhere else. Someone else out there is suffering in like 120. I know. Hot is hot. I don't care. Sometimes I just, I'm like, it's too warm. And it's like 90. It's too warm. However, um, <clears throat> I got this spooky box in the mail maybe like a few days ago. And I'm meaning to do it, but I just haven't had time because for one, my phone just like died. Like, it, it was dead. So I had to get a new phone. So this is my new phone. And it, I don't know. I don't know how the camera is. I don't know anything. Um, but you guys have to work so much that when you just have a day off, you don't, you like, you don't know how to be social anymore. Like with, even just with anyone, especially people you know. Like you're so used to, especially customer service. Like you're so used to like, we all have, why? Get out. It's a bug. But we all have that like customer service version of ourselves. And then you have your normal version. But do you know what your normal version is anymore? Oh. But, ooh, this is cool. They have like their address like in this cool. Ooh, these are new boxes. I'm gonna say this is a new box. This is awesome. And it's called the Campfire Ghosts. Alrighty, alrighty. I really, really, really have to thank Spooky Box. Honestly. And you guys should too. Um, just, I've said this, I think, in every video in the last, like, four boxes that probably <laughs> wouldn't be doing too much YouTube if it wasn't for Spooky Box. I still have, um, the Hunt a Killer box. I have part two that I need to upload. But you know what? Do... Do I have time to do anything? Nope. Nope. Except for today, because it's my day off. Um, Alright, this is awesome. Awesome. Um, there's something I was going to tell you guys. Oh. Ooh, I want to tell you some paranormal stuff. Because you guys ask me all the time um, if I experience anything paranormal. Do I experience anything paranormal in my house? Um, you know, just in general. Because I haven't really been doing too much um, paranormal stuff in a long, long time, but you guys ask every once in a while, like, anything new, paranormal wise in your life? And <clears throat> I am proud to say that, yes, um, not in my house, but at my work. Um, I don't know. Some might try and ex explain this away, like, logically, but it's weird. So, sometimes I'll be there, um, early in the morning, um, cleaning, because that's what I do sometimes. And, or I'll arrive and no one's there yet, um, or sometimes I'm there and I'm by myself, um, but, uh, I call, I call it the whistling man, and every once in a while, I hear someone whistling in the basement that we have at work, and I've heard it, like, it's been super loud, I hope the light is not, like, constantly changing every, like, I've seen the light all, like, change, or adjust itself, um, but this guy, and this guy, but this, I hear a whistle, like, most of the time when I'm there by myself, or if I'm down in the basement by myself, I hear this whistle, and out of nowhere, and I looked around, and I'm like, there's no one here, and I've heard it several, several times, I'm very rarely ever there by myself, though, like, very, very, very rarely, usually someone else is already there, they beat me, um, but every once in a while, I'll show up just maybe like five minutes before everyone else. And then I'll hear someone whistling. And I can't, like, track it. Like, I have no idea where it's coming from. Um, which is bizarre. So I just called the whistling man and just accepted it. Um, also, in the bathroom that we have upstairs, um, in the main area, every time I use this one particular bathroom, I feel like there's someone in there with me every single time. It's like I'm sitting, it's a really small, like, so there's two bathrooms. There's, like, the family bathroom that's pretty, pretty big. Pretty, pretty big. Pretty, pretty big. Um, and then we have, like, just, like, the unisex bathroom, um, which is smaller. And it's a pretty small bathroom. It's just a toilet and a sink. 
pictures and a mirror. That's it. That's it. And a trash can. That's it. Um, and it's like, I constantly feel like I have to look over my shoulder. There's nowhere to look over my shoulder. There's a wall. So, I don't know if you guys have ever felt that. You guys ever felt that? Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> From the story to the now spooky box. Um, this is awesome. Look at this. It's a mug. And I'm using this today. <gasps> Dude, you guys. How cool is this? There's a mosquito on my window. Oh my gosh. Spooky box club, snacks, campfires, ghost stories, marshmallows, and coffee. Dude, this is rad. This is, it's like that, um, metal ceramic, whatever you call it. But this is, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I love the little gums at a campfire. Uh, you know what? You know what my idea of fun is? Yes, I am I am 30 years old. I am an adult-ish. And sometimes, you know, friends want to go out and drink. And they want to party. And they want to, I don't know, drink. <laughs> Not that I have anything wrong with drinking. However, my version of fun is staying at home drinking watching creepy videos on YouTube, or just looking for creepy things on the internet and eating food. Like, but I don't have too many friends that like to do that stuff. Um, or if I do, or never free at the same time. But that is my version of fun. So this makes me want to like go out in the middle of the woods, just have a little campfire, have some snacks, maybe a little booze, or just something to drink, iced tea, I don't know, and talk about creepy stuff. That's literally, the, the only thing that sounds entertaining to me. Like, I've, I, I've tried most of my life to, you know, be like everyone else. Where, you know, I'm not really good at girl, girl nights. Like, girly nights. You know? Does that make sense? Like, oh my gosh, let's go out and party and dance. I've just been more like, dude, let's watch something scary. Or, is your house haunted? Can we go hang out in it? You know, want to go to a graveyard at night? Like, that's my idea of fun. That's what captures my attention. Um, and, same thing goes with, like, like books, or movies, or comic books, things to read, an article. So, like, I had, like, one of my aunts, she's like, oh, I have this really good book I think you'll like. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't even remember what it was called, but it was, like, some, like, Something like along the lines of the theme, it's, it wasn't this, but like Little House on the Prairie, like something like that, where it has the feel good, it's, it's a feel good book. I don't want feel good books, I want to be laying in my bed and like scared that like something's gonna stand in my doorway out of nowhere, you know? Um, and so I've learned that the books that I like to read are comic books or movies, I like post apocalyptic, I like zombies, but like not fake cheesy zombies. So I do like cheese. I like cheesy stuff. But that's like a different category. Like cheesy horror, that's like, that's different. That's like, if I feel like laughing and being grossed out at the same time, that's different. But I've learned that like, if, if there's a book you want me to read, if it's not scary, if it's not ominous, if it's not spooky in any way, I'm probably not gonna read it. It's not gonna capture my attention. Um, anyways, continue the spooky box. Oh my gosh. Happy camper! That is so cute! Can you see it? Can I like tap the screen? And it, can it, can it focus? I don't know, I'm failing at this new phone. I don't know. You can see it, right? But it says, it's a little skeleton in a tent! That's so cute! <gasps> Dude, we get another pen? I believe in you! Oh my gosh, I am wearing this on my vest. I have this vest. I just put um, a pen on. <clears throat> I'm washing it because yesterday it was hot and I wore it and you know like it gets all yeah anyways a jean vest no. I'm putting this and I'm wearing it to work every day I believe in you I believe in you I believe in you ghost I believe in all ghosts this is really cute <clears throat> oh, and I can have a ghost patch to match it that is so cool Oh, it'll go perfect on my vest. It's so cute. Look at him. He's like a little pudgy ghost. He's been eating a lot of like ghost marshmallows or something. So cute. So cute. So cute. Um, ooh, let's see. Oh, it's a little ghost charm. Little ghost charm. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You guys, you don't even know. You don't even know. 
I thought like so originally I had two days off a week now I'm gonna have one for the next like two weeks um and I was like dude I'll have Mondays off and I'll be able to make more creepy YouTube videos has that happened no sadly um fuck it's a little oh my gosh my phone sucks it's a little ghost can you see his little face dear phone why are we fresh why are we frustrated just my old phone was able to zoom in or like focus where's my camera can it focus if I'm out of the picture will it focus no he's got the cutest little face and little eyes if I put him on my <sighs> dear phone it's gonna be like a, a 30 minute video and half of it is me trying to focus on this little ghost like that's what life is can I do what all the other youtubers do oh my gosh really my phone sucks and this is new. And it's supposed to have like a really good camera. Anyways, this, I swear this is like the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen. Sorry, I, I dropped another phone. It's my day off. I'm just gonna repeat that. That's my excuse for everything today. But I'm putting this on a little choker. Oh, it'd be so cute. <gasps> Maybe I'll take a picture and then I'll post it on Instagram. And then you can see how cute it is. I almost just dropped another apple. <laughs> Ooh, enamel mugs and enamel wares created for people who love to travel. Oh, cool. Your enamel mug may have minor imperfection, and this is down to the nature of enamel wear. That's cool. Ooh, enamel wear care. Um, it's very durable, but it also can be damaged if handled without proper care. Throwing, dropping, or scratching is not recommended. If this accidentally happens and your enamel wear chips on the outside, you can still use it. Oh, I've seen like that, like enamel wear, like at thrift stores, and like they have a little chip, but people still use it. Um, so it's like hand washing only, which is cool because I hand wash all my mugs because I don't have a kitchen in the upstairs where I live, so. And I'm not going to go all the way downstairs because I'm lazy. Oh, <gasps> the, la was the last time I got one of these? It's been a while. Spooky all year round. Heck yes. That's rad. I love this. One of the coolest house ever thanks to Spooky Box. And there's some things I've given to friends where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is totally them more than me. And they love Spooky Box stuff. I mean, I feel, you can't go wrong with Spooky <gasps> A necklace! Oh my gosh. I'm so, like, out of it. You have no idea. This is really cool. <gasps> Okay, I get it, I get it. Dude. Okay. There we go. That is super pretty. Dude, that's so pretty. See that? I love this so much. It's so fancy and elegant. And pretty, just like me. Right now. On my day off. <laughs> oh my god. So cool. Oh my gosh. Are you guys... I think that's it. Oh, and... A lollipop. Well, at least my hair smells good. I dyed it blue-black. Do you guys like it? I can't really see the blue. Um, and a lollipop. But that's it for the spooky box. Let's make sure I got everything. Um, camera flag ghost. Let's see. Spooky all year round pendant. Yep. Giant ghost enamel pin. Yep. Happy Camper Enamel Pin. Yep. Embroidered Ghost Patch. Yep. Campfire Ghost Enamel Mug. Yep. Um, Gemstone Necklace. Yeah. Little Ghosty Charm. Yeah. And a Lollipop. Yeah. Dude, okay. My favorites. I like to do... I like to... Like, I like all the things, but I also like to say what my favorite is, and I like to know what your guys' favorite is. I think my favorite is the Enamel Mug and I really like this, and I really like the little ghost charm. I really, really like that. It's so cute. I think those are my favorites. I love everything else, too. I think those are my tops, for sure. What is your favorites? What do you guys like? I'm so glad I got to finally open this box. I was like, should I get dressed up for this? And I was like, you know what? You guys probably don't care. I don't care. I go to, I walk around town without makeup all the time. I just look tired. That's what usually people will say. They're like, you look tired. I'm like, yeah, well not wearing makeup and then when I am wearing makeup do you ever have this where you're wearing makeup but you are legit tired but you don't look it because you're wearing makeup and so people are like oh, you look so you look so good today I'm like well I feel like it's death so 
I'm gonna go die now because I'm actually tired. And when I'm like, I'm not tired right now at all. I'm not. I'm just. I just look at. Which I feel like that's how everyone is. Um, but I'm kind of glad that I have a little spooky stuff to tell you guys about. Always fun watching the bathroom. It's great. I mean, the building that I work in is really old. It was a church, like, in the 30s or something like that. But it's a really, really old building. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, basements, you know, basements are creepy. What is it about basements? They're just creepy. But I always hear the whistling man. Um, whistling man, and hopefully he's not the same one that watches me in the bathroom. I don't know, something about that bathroom. It's like I walk in there and I know I'm alone. Like, I check. I'm like, wait, there's no one in here. And it's small. But yet it feels so big. But that's what she said. Um, but I'll, you know, I'll walk myself in that bathroom, go to the bathroom, but I still feel like there's someone in there, like right behind me. It's so bizarre. It's not really like the most paranormal thing ever, but I'm just curious. Do you ever, do, do any of you guys ever experience anything like that? Ever? Um, hmm. I'm hoping that now that um, Halloween is coming, are you guys excited? Like, I can't wait. I just, I want fall here now. I'm over the hot. I'm over the heat. I'm over the sun. The sun could just go away. Um, but I'm hoping I can do some spooky stuff. Um, hoping. I just gotta get a grip on my life. Like, right now, everything at work is pretty hectic. And on my days off, I just want to do nothing. But there's not really anything spooky to do, and it's too warm to do anything spooky. It's not a good enough excuse because there's still, like, YouTubers, like, Paranormal Cat, one of my besties, she still does spooky stuff. She's rocking it, by the way. Um, but, uh, I'm just, I work so much. And life is just, you know, and you guys understand. That's why I am more than grateful for Spooky Box. Spooky Box has been keeping my YouTube alive. <laughs> and I am just... It's a good it's a good excuse to make videos and it's a good excuse to just like chill and like catch up with you guys because I've been on YouTube for a while and been through a lot with my YouTube channel um, and yeah and I appreciate all you guys for sticking around and now I understand when like I I have YouTubers that I still watch you know where they disappear for like months and then they come back like thanks for sticking around life happens you know like they get a new job they work their ass off or they just whatever life is crazy um and I like that we're our little club community like spooky community and I just love spooky box like this is it's like everything in this box I love like in all the boxes like there's all these other subscription boxes you know like horror block or like which you've all heard about nerd block google it if you haven't um <clears throat> it's tragic but, uh, like, Loot Crate and everything, like, like, my brother gets Loot Crate, and it's like, when you get a themed box, you might like two things in that box, you know? Like, I think very rarely do you love everything in a box. I honestly love everything in every spooky box club. And even if there's things where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a friend that would love that, and I save it for their birthday, and they love it, you know? Like, it doesn't mean that I love it, it just means like, oh my gosh, I love this, but uh, this is more them, and so I will give them some, like, the, we, there's that, um, star banner. It was like a star banner thing. And I have a friend that is obsessed with stars, and so for her birthday, I gave her that star banner because I'm like, oh, I love this, and I couldn't figure out where to hang it in my house. And I was like, dude, this would be perfect for her. And she flipped out. She loved it so much. And when I was like, it's spooky box, you should go follow them on all the things. You know, pimping you out. That's how I do it. Happy birthday. Follow them on social media. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always loved everything in Spooky Box, and, and it's just so much fun. Yeah, and I'm, I think I'm done. I, need, I haven't eaten yet. I need to go eat. I made myself breakfast, and it's sitting out on my coffee table, and I have coffee um, as well. So I'm going to chill today, just relax, take it easy, because I'm not going to have another day off for another week. So, yeah, I can't really complain can't but it's it's easier to complain than it isn't so I hope you guys are all well um, I'm always on my uh, Facebook group posting spooky stuff and you guys post spooky stuff so 
when I'm not here, I'm like there or I'm on Instagram, but I'm probably more so on my haunted hangout. So if you want to follow my or join my group, it's Annie's Haunted Hangout. Just click join. I will approve you. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, which is Lady Locks Life. Um, you can follow me on, I mean, I'm not really on Twitter. Every once in a while I'll get on a Twitter spurt. But everything, everything for me is Lady Locks Life, even Snapchat. I've been getting a little more snap happy though. I've been snapping a lot more, so you can follow me on Snapchat. Send me a snap of something spooky. Ooh, that would be really cool. If like, even if it's not like paranormal, you just like you get creative and try and send me snaps that you think might be creepy. That'd be really cool. Challenge. Challenge. I challenge you. Send me a creepy, creepy snap. And if I think it's creepy, I will reply and say, send it again so I can save it. <laughs> so, um, if you guys are down for that, do it. Um, you can tell I haven't done YouTube in a while because I keep saying, um, and this video is not getting edited. So I'm not sorry. But you guys understand. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.